Dude, my friends who introduced me to Final Fantasy VI, they hated this game. They didn't like the fact that you had to share flower points with all of your party members. Shit! So is this a one-to-one -one remake, or is there new stuff? They're keeping the isometric point of view. All the enemies look uh, exactly the same. I wonder if they're going to keep the same minigames. They're probably going to have to add a couple of quality of life enhancements because some of those platforms were very difficult to traverse in isometric style. You got chain attacks? What the hell? Oh, interesting. So it looks like... Oh, this is Yardovic, dude. This dude was hard as fuck. Some of these enemies were super crazy hard as fuck. They're keeping most of the original attacks. Malo was good at magic. Uh, Bowser was the physical attack and defense. Uh, Princess Peach was deceptively one of the best characters you could get. Once you get her frying pan, she was like a god to your character. Okay, so... Right, like, just like with... <gasps> they kept the... Oh, the minecart and the... They kept all the animations the same, too. Oh, crap. Right, the Yoshi game. The the tadpole game where you can compose your own music. So this is essentially the remake that everyone was asking for. They didn't change shit. They just updated the graphics, basically. But clearly, they have to add a couple of of extra niceties, no? Huh. This game was introduced to me very shortly after playing Final Fantasy VI. Um, funny a story behind the development of this game. This was a collaboration between Nintendo and Squaresoft. And originally, the concept for Mario was that Mario would have a sword. But Miyamoto said, no, that's kind of weird. Because Final Fantasy back then was just pure like knights and wizards medieval stuff. And then they got the idea to give him a hammer instead, and the rest is history. All right, very cool. Very, very cool for those of you uh, nostalgic for your childhood. There you go. This would be a great entry, I think, for someone like my niece to get into RPGs. Because it's a very beginner-friendly kind of RPG.